Well, this is our story, the Fuel family. Um, Harrison, of course. They told us that about 25 weeks that we had a kidney that was larger than the other kidney. It was growing a little bit at a time, but nothing too extreme. So when we went in at 35 weeks, they said, let's go ahead, uh, let's do that major um, test with, um, with a specialist to read the sonogram to make sure that there wasn't a, a reason behind this kidney being larger. And so we went in um, with the specialist at Texas Tech and James had to work. And um, so I'm sitting there alone thinking, you know, he, they're just going to look at the kidneys and we're all of a sudden um, at the end of that sonogram to check that kidney, the doctor uh, looks at me and she says, uh, okay, well, now that we understand that the kidney is, you know, nothing, there's nothing underlying, she said, now what's wrong with the heart? I said, I'm sorry, what? And she said, what's wrong with our heart? And I said, nothing that I know of. And she said, no, something's wrong with the heart. At that point, she um, pretty much diagnosed us with an interrupted aortic arch. Um, and that being said, the aorta, according to the blood flow um, sonogram where they turn it on that does blue and red to tell you where the blood is coming and going, there was zero blood going past his aorta. My heart just sank and I cried to him and I told him all these things as soon as I walked out of the office and he was on a trip and he was nowhere close to home and I prayed and I asked all my friends to pray. I knew in my heart that everything was going to be okay. I was two days into a seven day trip and um, between here and nowhere, you know, between getting a phone signal and not getting a phone signal and listening to my wife cry about um, the news that we received about the possibility of multiple medical issues that we could possibly be facing. And um, I kind of knew that she felt all alone because I wasn't there and I felt all alone because I was out on the road. And uh, kind of at that point is where I realized all I could do was just at that time just kind of say a prayer. And, they knew at that point that we weren't going to be able to probably deliver an Amarillo. Uh, due to the severity of an interrupted aortic arch, we're talking open heart surgery immediately um, to correct this, to get the blood flowing where it needed to go and, um, and then just see how his little body could hold up to such a severe, or a, sorry, a, a major surgery of his little heart at that point. We have the whole church is praying for us, our class is praying for us, my friends are praying for us, and we have, um, we're on so many different prayer groups. Um, my mom and them in Littlefield, their church was praying for us. So many people that we didn't even know were praying for us and talking about it, and we were talking about it, and just, we had so many, so much prayers. That was one of, if not the biggest support, I think, was our church family. And when Central, you know, when we walked down to the front that day and, and we sat there and I'm, you know, 36 weeks pregnant or 35, 36 weeks pregnant and um, to have our, our Central family behind us and the love and the... <laughs> that warning support, calls, phone calls, cards. And just people praying for us it just was the most amazing feeling. And we knew at that point, that was one of the points that I knew that, you know, that I didn't need to worry. Do not, not be anxious, anxious about, about anything, anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.